Welcome back! MTG Joe here, and we are going to be playing some more Historic Anthologies for uh, cards uh, in Standard. Oh, sorry, not Standard. Historic. Uh, historic Anthology, obviously. Um, so we are playing a deck today uh, around a card they brought into the format, uh, Flame Blade Adept. Uh, kind of an innocuous uh, card. It's a one mana, one two menace. Whenever you cycle or discard, it gets plus one zero oh until end of turn. And what this is is basically a uh, Boros cycling deck. Um, but we also get to play Hollow One. So this is uh, Hollow One cycling. Um, so Hollow One costs two less to cast for each card you've cycled or discarded this turn. So you can effectively cast these for free. Uh, so this could be a one to zero to like three mana usually uh four four uh in itself has cycling um so really what we're trying to do is a similar game plan to the standard deck um we have two good one drops notably um and then we have hollow ones to kind of cast for free we have the stinger and drain healer so in this version here you're less about like the four color and you're more about just keeping consistent mana uh, Historic also has the Cycling Lions, so we're playing the Steps and the Forgotten Caves. So we have an additional surplus of Lions that cycle here. Um, you have the Xena Flare, Go for Blood is in Footfall Crater, more your utility uh, spells. And then we also have Cast Out, which is nice as both removal um, and something we can cycle as well. Mana Base allows us, or the deck construction allows us to play Jengantha as a companion. So this is something I want to try out first with Jengantha. We might be switching it depending on the sideboard. Um, current sideboard, we got cages and soul guides versus like graveyard decks. Um, and like the cage basically stops so much in the format right now. Um, I'm actually going to play an additional braid, I think. Um, or I might want a way to interact with like rest in peace. Um, there's, I'll, I'll add something for that. There's a cycling one. Um, so we have Cages, uh, we have Baffling Ends, Thalias to slow down like control decks, Abrades, Vortex versus like the control matchups where uh, they might be targeting their graveyard or have a lot of sweepers. Um, the notable thing here I want to try out is if we want to get rid of Jengantha and play something like Chandra or Gideon in the sideboard. Hey Bobalek, how's it going? Uh, cycle. It's like Invoke the Divine, Forsake the Worldly, Exile, Target Artifact or Enchantment play a one of these uh, this is just for like rest in peace so let's give this a shot see how it goes I am currently 217 on the mythic ladder so let's see if we can do some climbing uh, and go from there so as always if you're catching this on YouTube if you can uh, if you could drop a like comment or if you haven't done so already subscribe all are free and easy ways to help the channel it's greatly appreciated if you can um, and I do pose a question to you. What is the deck that you are having the most fun with in Historic right now? Are you playing Death Shadow decks? Uh, your own brew? Are you on Vampires? If you're like Boblek, then he's Angels all day, every day. Uh, but let me know. Still running into uh, Control decks, Boblek? All right, let's queue up here. Playing Petty Frost. See if they're on a snow mana base. There's a couple of cards I want to see in the sideboard depending on how we play. We can do like Clarion even as a sweeper. Um, really like Zenith Flare should win a lot of games. Sand is a keep. I think we'll lead on the Sacred Foundry. This deck's going to be hard to play against, Angels. Don't really have clean answers for a lot of their four toughness things and Valiant Rescuer. Probably going to have to use... Hmm. So they can double block here, just getting a point of damage. So we can try to go wide. They're going to gain a lot of life off this, but 
I'm probably going to have to use this to fight the Soul Warden and then play a tap blind. Yikes. Yeah, this is probably like the worst matchup for us. Uh, Fox has a decent draw here. Can try to get really big. And then just use it to fight. With the fight spell here, I can take out something. So hopefully they don't have another apparition. They're on Bant. Ah, oh, jeez. Double apparition draw is really bad for us. Um, so here, if I play this out, Jeez, just not drawing lands here. Um, I kind of like this cast out. Because now we can do basically all this. And then we can... Um, use cast out on one of their big threats. We also have Zenith Flare, uh, if we can draw into it. That's a big hit. Well, I guess what we can do, depending on what they play out. Um, so they can crack back for a bit of damage here. I think we're doing this. So I think here... We do do this, it takes them off two things. I guess I shouldn't have done that on that. Because they get indestructible here. That was wrong. Should have let it go. Four cyclers in the grave, not quite enough yet. Interesting target there. I guess they can attack in with some chip damage here. Might have to start keeping these hollow ones back. We get a Cycler, I might use Dranath Healer just to gain life. Um, I think we're just gonna cycle that come our turn. Uh, they can block in, so let's just I think we gotta hold back here. They gain so much life, it's really hard for us to uh, try to outpace them here. Like every angel gains them four. They are flooding quite a bit, which is nice.
problem is at this point this doesn't really do much either guess I can attack with the flame blade if they want to double block I can cycle cycle and kill the bishop of wings I just want to keep them like off the 27 Like here it's worth for them to just not attack. Just trying to gain some life here. Uh, we can just go white here. Okay, so Zenith Flare still something we can play into. Yikes, yikes. So now they're gonna get a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, we need to find flare. Okay, there's a flare. So if we can Cuz they're going to hit us here for 7. We could get them to pump mana into Resplendent Angel. And then kill it that way. I think we need to play like somewhat defensive here. They get a spirit here, but like here they're already over 30, which makes it a little rough. It buys us a little bit of time. Let's see what we get here. The thing is they can just hit us like six a turn here. Like we've done a lot of damage, but just can't really push through. This having vigilance is also really bad. Need another flare. Second bishop. Okay, flare for 11 might help. Um. See if we just get some little chip damage in. Problem is like at this point we need to chain like quite a few Zenith flares together. For do we wait to try to get this higher? I think we're just going face here. And they gain some life. So they can double block here if they want. I have Jengantha back, Flame Blade Adept can be blocked at this point. I get back to one ones here. Just lets me go wider in terms of blockers. They end up netting out life totals though, because of these Soul Wardens. Okay, so we're gonna want the Baffling Ends. Just gonna hold this, make it seem like we have something. They haven't drawn great. So 
So I can cycle this. I can use this for trample. I think we're just trying to dig for Zenith Flare here. Um, I think similarly. Seems wrong. Don't know why you give up that. Um, this just gains them more life than what we can attack with. Linfala. Jeez. Yeah. They just gained 12, 13, 14 life off that. Yeah, we're dead here. I don't really have the culmination of draws like without Zenith Flare. Um, so Roiling Vortex for sure. Baffling Ends. We'll play some Abrades. Um, they do have Rest in Peace potentially post-board, but I think we just need to play it out anyways. Um, Flame Blade is fine. I'm actually going to get rid of the Valiant Rescuer. It just gains them more life than is beneficial. And probably trim a couple of Footfall Craters. It's the worst of our spells. Run it back. How's everybody doing today? Trying out some Cycling 1. Hollow 1 Cycling um, against arguably the worst matchup. We hit them with two Zenith Flares, but their life total was so high, it didn't really matter. Um, we can keep this. Two of these lines cycle anyways. Fox on one is pretty gas. This is a nice thing with having just, you can play more lands in the deck and then just cycle away the extras. Next turn, I can cycle a fight as one. So, definitely shock here. So they're not going to block. We cycle here. And then we fight as one it. Hey Preston. Doing all right. Trying this out. This game's going better than the first one. They always seem to have this on too. Um, I think here, smack in, I think I actually like doing this. Fight here and then hold up a braid. If not, I can uh, cycle one of these cast outs. This flock fox is just gonna solo us. That's fine. We'll just cast out. Like they do need to eventually kill us here. Um, I think we just pass. Okay, so it's definitely collected company. 
So cast out here. Hit this. Seen a flare might just have to do like minimal. That gains him a lot of life. So we're gonna cast out the Righteous Valkyrie here. Jesus. Yeah, and this is the problem with this matchup. Like we dealt with their stuff, we had him down to five and they're just gonna punk us at this point. Yeah, we can't win at this game. This matchup's like impossible. Like we can try, t the thing is like even doing something like Tybalt doesn't really help. Let's just queue up a different one. Against like any other creature deck, you're good. Just that deck like one turn they gained Eight life, so they gained five off the Coco. No, they gained more. They gained eight off the Coco, and then another like eight. Well, again, okay. We'll keep this hand. Put away Xena Flare. Probably. Flame Blade. It's gonna go Valiant Rescuer and then set up for ideally going from there. Drowned Catacomb, interesting. We draw an untapped land, it's actually pretty good because I can go cycle, cycle, Grixis. I think we're just playing our lands out here, passing the turn. Grixis should probably be okay. So that can be Saw coming. If they have Languish, it's pretty good. I think we're just doing this, trying to dig deeper into the deck. So if they have Languish, or extinction event that kind of sucks. Behold is fine. Means no sweeper this turn at least. I'd like to get this one higher. Just see if we can get it out of range. Push there. I think we do this. If they have Thought Seize, they get rid of one of my two threats. That's fine. 
they Valky Jingantha, but I can Zenith Flare it. Would like a little bit more cycling here. So here we just go flare, flare. They have to answer both my board. It's fine even if they counter here. They also have the option if they have a mana to become Val like Valky to become Jingantha. They probably don't have too many clean answers to Hollow One, at least post board. They probably have like Bone Crusher, Fatal Push. This might be Release of the Winds. We got a counter. counter boom you got flared um roiling vortex thalia's probably bring in one forsake the worldly um coming out in this matchup probably just the gopher bloods they seem the worst out of any of them hollow one's fine i still want the zenith flares between cast out and forsake, we can deal with like a ley line. Uh, it's probably otherwise just the footfall craters. Here we just need to like have some pressure against them. They showed bone crusher and push, so our like smaller guys are a little bit more susceptible. That was on a multi five as well. They probably bring in like negates against us. Leyline's not the end of the world if they don't have it on turn zero. Even them doing like Thought Seeds isn't the end of the world. So this is a matchup where I wanted to see with like having Chandra's or Gideon's, which I think could be good. It's nice when we don't have to worry about uh, our opponent gaining like 5,000 life a turn. That Balky line was probably a little aggressive by them. So I don't know if they're on Cat Pack uh, donating us um, the Pact, uh, Demonic Pact. If they're on release the winds Valky, if they're just on like a mid range style. So that's stuff we're gonna try to figure out as we go through. I'm just not getting lines. Don't like mulliganing against this deck. Okay, so you're the. I'm actually gonna. Probably put back a hollow one. It's the hardest for us to cast right now. Yeah. So turn zero ley line, pretty freaking good. So leading on Fox, just because it could get bigger, they might have to stomp here. I 
I think we want to try to prioritize hitting our lines here. Yeah, turn zero, lay line's pretty rough. And then just keeping a one lander and not hitting another land. I think we run 20 lines in the deck. So not great value here, but got to do what we got to do. Try to hit some lines. The problem is even our cyclers are all two cycling right now. So we'll do this. Play Thalia out here, just tax them. Then I can just try to start hard casting hollow ones if we hit a land. I can cycle, then it becomes three mana. Let's see if we just go beat down on them. So Grixis doesn't have a clean removal in this case, so they'll either have something like Extinction Event, which will get rid of Hollow One and Flame Blade. They'd have Ritual of Soot. Okay. And that's fine. They can one for one removal. I can hard cast Hollow One next turn. That's the worst draw on our deck. Just doing this. If they're one for one, I guess Languish gets us here. That's the only one. They can Valky minus. So we'll get them to react here. So they are on the release version. So you release Valky. So that's free to cast. Just play out Vortex. And now like this is a clock that they have to deal with. So it's pretty impressive that we've basically been able getting through with a turn zero ley line. Roiling Vortex. Um, basically, each player's upkeep, uh, they take a damage. Ooh, Halvar, nice crack. Um, and then you can pay a red mana to shut off life gain for a player for the turn. And then uh, if a player casts something for zero mana, they take five damage instead. All right, let's give this one one more. Let's see how much we can Royal. Just no angels. Uh, Preston, I don't know if you can see, is Cardboard live on? It should be on. It should be able to... Oh, it's... Um... Should come up. Finally a keepable hand. It's uh, roiling. Ah, card. Thank you. House. Oh, hooey. Opponent mauled to six. So our turn's probably going to be Dranith Healer, maybe. Get two threats out. And then just start cycling. It's. 
if you're playing standard at all, Roiling Vortex just straight up massacres uh, Sultai Ultimatum. They can't cast it. Or if they cast it, they take 10 damage. So if you have any pressure on them with that, it's really good. Some sort of Jund list here. Cycle here. So they might have Scavenging Ooze. Something to be mindful of. Prioritize keeping your spells over your lands here. Um, I think I'm going to play out the Fox. It's another good threat. We get hit really hard if they have Anger of the Gods here. Okay, they're just Sacrifice. I think we're just fighting here. And just hit in for some more damage. That should be lethal next turn. So we need any of these to connect. Yeah, it's probably not as good in um, Yeah, they're dead. Didn't even have to show them the flare. Um this is a baffling end matchup, a braids cage. Uh coming out we'll cut footfall crater. This having menace is pretty good. Hollow one, they'll have a hard time dealing with. I need three cuts. Don't mind these, it's just more removal. Fox, this at least has evasion. Probably just trim on these. Going wide is one thing, but these don't cycle as well. It's a bad play on two if they have like Mayhem Devil Oven and they can't really attack through cats that well. Uh, let's try this out. Cage is good. Like the nice thing too is we have kind of like a combo deck where we don't get hit by opponents' cages. Fox on one. We'll see what they play. If they go cat on one, then I'm gonna go flame blade because I'm a little bit worried about claim like them claiming a big fox. It's pretty uh, low value for us. Okay, so they have the oven. I think here we just go flame blade. I might actually go Dranith healer. We'll see if they play the cat here. And then just try to gain life seems decent. Because if I can insulate my life total, it's not too bad. Next turn, I can like cycle one of these. The stinger is also pretty nice. Because they could have Collected Company this turn. I'm playing this out. They don't seem to have... Uh... So they usually will run Leyline on the board, perhaps, uh, since they're not Jangantha. They could have Scavenging Ooze. Uh, they might have Reclamation Sage. Oh, such a good draw. Such a good draw. This could be Fatal Push. You know what? I should have shocked this in.
get in some more damage here. Nicely done. So we shut him off Collected Company. We shut him off Cat. Got him. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. All righty. So I usually do about three three games with a deck. Um, your angel matchup's horrible. Um, that's something I think we just have to accept. Um, it's a pretty sweet deck. Um, is definitely something that is fun. Um, something to try out. So let's queue up this one. 